Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release crochet tutorials and free patterns. And today I'm bringing to you this beautiful um, vintage wrap. It's inspired by um, the 19th century where these types of shawls were really popular. So these types of shawls and feature ties that wrap around your body to secure the wrap and this was also called a sun tag or a bosom friend. All of the details about the historical facts are on my blog post as usual along with the free pattern and you can find all of this linked in the description box and all of this will be on my blog selinaveronique.com so don't worry along with a lot of pictures on how to wear this um, beautiful vintage sun tag so I love this, it's really really feminine, it's also a very therapeutic and fun project to crochet. So for this project I used three balls of this yarn and this is um, Shapious Chunky Monkey yarn and this is 100% premium acrylic. 100 grams which is equivalent to 116 meters so this is a chunky weight yarn and you can substitute it with any chunky slash bulky yarn of your preference and like I said um, I used three of this fuchsia shade and I used one um, ball of this light pink shade. All of the details will also be in the description box. These details will also be available on the blog post linked in the description box. I also used a 6mm crochet hook, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors and I will be speaking in US terms with British terms in brackets. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, that really helps out my channel. And once again, I will be um, posting a lot of the historical details and also pictures, a lot of pictures and my inspiration for this vintage um, American 19th century shawl. All of this will be in the blog post. So sorry for the long intro, but I thought this um, beautiful shawl deserved um, more attention than usual. But without further ado, I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. Okay, so to begin this tutorial, you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and create a slip knot. Pop your hook through like so. And now you will be chaining seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And so now that you have um, seven chains, you will be counting one, two, three, four, five chains from the hook. And in that fifth chain from the hook, you will be placing a treble crochet. And so to uh, make a treble crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook twice, pop your hook through, pull up a loop, you have four loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops, take your yarn and pull through two loops, and take your yarn and pull through two loops. And the first chain four at the beginning counts as a treble crochet. Now place another treble crochet into the next chain, like this, and into the next chain, like this. In this creates your first um, cluster of four treble crochets for this corner to corner pattern. Now once you've done that you will be chaining seven once again. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. Turn your work, and you will be once again um, counting one, two, three, four, five chains from your hook and placing a treble crochet into that chain and place a treble crochet into the next chain and place a treble crochet into the next chain once again and this creates our second um, square and to um, continue with this pattern you will be putting these two squares like that so place them side by side and go through two trebles here to slip stitch so just go ahead and slip stitch in between those two trebles from the previous square and now chain four, so one, two, three, and four. And this counts as your first treble. Now go back into this space here with another treble. So just go ahead and place another treble inside that stitch. And once again, place another treble inside this stitch and once again place another treble inside this stitch and this creates row two of this corner to corner pattern so now for the next row you will be chaining seven one two three four five six and seven Turn your work and count one, two, three, four, five chains from your hook, and once again place a treble into that. So go ahead and do this. Now place a treble into the next chain, and place a treble into the next and last chain like so and once again you are going to be joining with a slip stitch in between the two trebles now chain four one two three and four this counts as your first treble place three more trebles once again inside the space Base. So I just have to unravel my yarn. And three trebles. And my last treble. Like this. And once again just join through the two trebles here with a slip stitch and chain four one two three and four and this counts as your first treble now go in between these two trebles with a treble crochet and as you can see we are building up this pattern very easily so once you get into the um into the pattern it's a very easy it's a very repetitive pattern i will be showing you the next row and so for the next row once again chain seven one two three four five six seven turn your work and count one, two, three, four, five chains from your hook and place a treble into that. Now place a treble into the next chain and place a treble into the next chain once again. And now 
join with a slip stitch like this chain four one two three and four and place three more trebles inside this space like so join like so and now chain four one two three and four and this of course counts as your first treble go in between the trebles with three trebles once again like so i just need to unravel my yarn there we go sorry <laughs> So I'm just going to finish my last treble, slip stitch, and create one, two, three, and four, and place three more trebles inside this space, like this, like so. And this is row four so we've finished four rows so i'm just going to let you carry on repeating this over and over so i'm just going to be letting you continue this pattern until you have 25 rows in total and then i'll show you how to do the border okay so you should have 25 rows in total so I'm just going to show, I'm just going to show you mine. So I know this is um, a close up, but this is what I have. And so now I'm going to show you how to crochet the light pink um, etching on the sample. So um, it's very straightforward. So obviously you should do this on your actual shawl, but the principle is the exact same. And it's just simpler to um, do it to show this on a um, sample. So I fastened off here. I'm going to turn my work and attach my pink yarn onto um, the um, sample like this. Apologies for all these loose ends. Okay, so I um, will be showing you how to crochet um, the border. So we've attached our yarn and now we are simply going to be chaining one and this does not count as a stitch. We are going back in with a single crochet. So to create a single crochet, pop your hook through directly, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops. Now place a single crochet evenly across this edge so just um, to explain myself better you will be going all the way down your shawl this first side and then up this side and this side here won't be um, worked on with the border just this side and that side and we are going to be placing a single crochet evenly all across um, the edging and there is no specific number of single crochets that you need just make sure that you place them evenly because this is what i call the wrong side of um, the stitches so there isn't really a stitch into which you will be placing your um your um, single crochets if that makes sense so just place them evenly and just a little bit of advice that i have i find that single crochet edgings tend to tighten um, the project a lot so i tend to place quite a few 
single crochets if that makes sense. So I've reached the bottom here and I'm just going to continue directly onto the other side. So just go ahead and place single crochets all across um, the second side and then I'll get back to you. I've gone all the way around with a single crochet and now what we are going to be doing for row two is chain two, one and two, turn your work. And this counts as a half double crochet and it goes with this first stitch here. So now we are going to be placing half double crochets all across the edge and to create a half double crochet wrap your yarn around your hook go into the next stitch with your um, hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook take your yarn and pull through three loops now go into the next stitch with a half double crochet and the next stitch and just place a half double crochet into each and every um, stitch across until you reach the top of the triangle and once you reach the top of the triangle I'll show you what to do then. Okay so I've reached the top of the triangle and in that top stitch here I've placed a half double crochet. I will be placing a second half double crochet into the same stitch and now I'm simply going to be placing a half double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I've placed all of my half double crochets across this edge and now we are going to be repeating this process of placing another row of half double crochets across the edging. I'm just going to let you do that on your own because I've already showed you um, row one, so just repeat. Well, not row one, row two, but the first row of half double crochets. So just repeat this half double crochet row and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I'm back and this is my shawl. I love it. It's so pretty. I absolutely adore it. And now I'm going to show you how to crochet the, um, the ties. So I've taken my fuchsia yarn. I'm going to attach it to the last half double crochet that we made like this. There we go. And pop your hook through. Let me just turn this so that you can see. And just take your yarn, chain one. And now we are going to be chaining 100. So one, two, three. Four. Okay, so I've gone ahead and chained a hundred as you can see so that's quite a long chain there we go i am going to be zooming in a tiny bit to show you what i'm going to be doing and now so once you have a chain of 100 you will be counting one and two chains from the hook and placing and slip stitching, sorry, slip stitch through this chain. So to slip stitch, pop your hook through, pull your yarn through and pull through and then go into the next chain and pull your yarn through and through and so on and just go through each and every chain across until you reach the end of this chain and then I'll show you what to do then. So I finished my strap and I actually forgot to film the end but what I did I just went through each and every chain and then I went through that first stitch where we began and then 
fastened off and sewed in my loose ends so just repeat this on both sides of the shawl and then I'll get back to you so I finished both my ties and I love them I love this shawl I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my um, blog to see how to wear this shawl if you are wondering how to wear this shawl just head over to my blog I have explained this with photos thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye bye